scientific notation and significant figures. It says using powers of 10. Example 1, find the value of each of the following. Now, what's very important is when we've got like this 10 squared, we're moving the decimal point to the right because we're making the number bigger. So this one, we have 5.32. We move in the decimal point two times to the right. So it becomes 1, 2. So I get 1, 2, the decimal point is right here. So this answer is actually 5, 3, 2. So 532 at the decimal point there. When you've got a negative 10 to the power of negative 3, this one, we move the decimal point to the left. So we're making the number smaller. Negative means make it smaller. So this time we're going to move the decimal point three times to the left. So let me just write that again. So we've got 3.27 at the moment and we want to move it to the left negative three times. So three times. So one, two, three. So the decimal point's right here. So these gaps, I've got to put zeros there. So my actual answer is zero point 00327 scientific notation so when scientists uh, use scientific notation on very large or very small numbers it's also known as a standard form they do this because we can actually calculate things and it says to write a number in scientific notation put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit that means the number so after the first number you put your decimal point and then you multiply by the power of 10 so that the product gives the original factor. So example three express each, example to express each of the following in scientific notation. So 6.44, well the decimal point at the moment is right here. We want it to be 6.4. So we have to move it one, two, three times. So we get times 10 to the positive three. I know we went left, but that's because we going into scientific notation. So when I expand this one here that I've just written it, I will get back to the original. Okay, so this one's the opposite way. Now, if I look at this next question, I want the decimal point to be here, 6.738. So I have to move it how many times? One, two, three, four, five times. So this becomes times 10 to the five and because the number is going to be smaller when I go back, I put the negative with in front of it. Significant figures. Okay, they might ask you about significant figures. If you look, this is the same question, this one here, to two, three, and four significant figures. If we want to go to two significant figures, we only want two numbers here, 2.3. So we get 2.3, there it is there, times 10 to the power of 4, because we've got the 10 to the power of 4 there. If we want three significant figures, we're going to go to 2.34. Now we've got to look at the next one, so that four turns into a five. So 2.35 times 10 to the power of four. And if we're looking at four significant figures, one, two, three, number four, that six has to go to a seven because of this number here. So we've got to round correctly. So the next one says, Example three, round each of the following to the number of significant figures specified. We want three, so we're going to go one, two, and there's our third one. So five, zero, eight, okay. So we're going to have equal to five, zero, eight, point. Oh no, we're not gonna do the point, sorry, times. 10 to the power of 1, 2, sorry, 5.08, that's three significant figures, and we've gone 1, 2, 3, 4 times 10 to the power of 4. We could also have this run as another number, but we're going to leave it as this other one. I'm not going to show you the other one. And part B. 0 0.00749723 three significant figures. So again, don't, don't worry about these ones. It will be seven, 
and then five four nine but remember we've got to look at this one so that's going to round so this will end up being 7.50 because 49 we have to add one will become 50 times 10 to the negative because we've got to get a smaller number how many times have we moved that decimal point well one two three times so 10 to the power of negative 3.